It's recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have two very special guests here. Hello, I'm Alana. And I'm Maddie. And we're known as the Alper Sisters, and we are a hair and makeup duo. So they are both professionals. These two girls are amazing. They are so so incredibly talented. If you check out their Instagram, you'll see all of their work and they're so good. I'm like, don't hype us up too much. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on both of them now. I wanted to have them on my channel because I really wanted to just have like a different perspective on my channel. So I thought it'd be really cool to have two people who've actually never worked on me before. This is like the first time that they're doing my hair or my makeup. And I just thought it'd be really interesting to see what they would do. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And it's gonna be a really, really fun time. We're actually going to be doing two different looks. Yes. Um, two different videos. So this video I think that you're watching now is going to be more of like a natural glam, not really natural, but how, how would you Yeah, I would call it like a natural glam. Um, More just wearable, like, I would say. Yeah, like really fresh skin, kind of like sexy, but like really pretty eyes. Yeah, it's just gonna be that look that everybody yeah. is gonna wanna wear, you Pretty know? much, yes. And then the second look's gonna be more of like an editorial fashion yes. look. Let me know down below in the comments what other videos you like to see with Maddie and Alana. And yeah, I really think that's all I, I wanna say. Let's just get started. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's okay, I'm do ready. it. I was telling Maddie before that I really apologize for my very dirty hair. So, is it really dirty, dirty hair? No, it's actually not, but you have drier skin, yeah. so your hair is not going to be as oily. Okay. But I, <clears throat> dirty hair is definitely better to work on, and when I say dirty, I don't mean greasy. Not too clean is always the best, especially sometimes when I do someone's hair and maybe we want it to last a little longer, I would say no conditioner. So pretty much if you guys have like a special event and you are getting your hair done, don't come in with like freshly washed, silky smooth hair. Yeah, Cause it's not gonna hold as, as well. Yes. Going for a kind of easy going look today. Okay, cool. So this is my favorite product. I've been using it for years. The Bubble and Bubble <laughs> does it all. It's the light hold hairspray. So I like to use this before I start to style on each separate section because it's going to protect the hair from the heat and it's going to help with hold. Also guys, I asked you on Instagram to send me any questions that you had for them. I'm gonna read them to them. Okay. And have, them <laughs> have them answer them. Read them. So what are we doing like with the hair specifically? I just wanna give it a bit of movement, mm -hmm. more of a wave, but I like to grab it, put it on, twist it, then I like to pull, then I like to twist it, and then I like to pull. And then I like to go back in after and kind of enhance the shape with a bit of like a crimp because I find that really natural. If you guys were wondering what we primarily do for work, we primarily work in fashion and then we do clients on the side. So and Maddie's just gonna be like curling my hair for the next little bit, <laughs> doing that like same technique. Same technique, I'm going from switching directions as I keep going, just to keep it really natural. You always wanna make sure that you have a clean base to start on. It's really important. And for me as a makeup artist, I think one of my biggest tips to you is skincare and prepping the skin because yes. when you have a flawless base, everything just looks so much better and it's gonna blend better. I agree. So I always start going with an oil to start and I'm actually gonna be using one of our products. Um, this is, we have a company called Alper Oils yes. and it's all oil-based beauty products. And it's so good, you guys. I've been using their face oil for the last like two weeks. Our <laughs> blends are created to target um, skin issues as well as emotional wellness through aromatherapy. I usually go with Dream Beam on clients. This um, product is really good for sensitive skin and it sits beautifully under makeup. I kind of spread it onto the skin, always in upwards motion, and then I'll finish off by patting it in. That feels so nice. I wanna fall asleep right now. So many clients tell me, especially when it's like, I'll use it under their makeup, they message me the next day saying, wow, like my skin is glowing today. I think it's from that product. So then I like to go in with a moisturizer. And I really, when I use like an oil, I really like to go in with something that's really light and has no fragrance to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go in with the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. And I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing. Apply it to the skin, always upwards. So I'm actually going with the Jaclyn Hill, sorry Jamie. That's okay. Uh, Morphe palette. Going in with, you could see these are my most loved shades. And I'm probably gonna play around with these three shades over here. So I really love to start with the eyes. 
Mm -hmm. because if I have any cleanup to do, I'll go under and wipe away and then I'll go into the skin. And it also helps me shape the eyes afterwards. Yeah, I do the same. Because yeah, I love to get like a really like nice blown out shape. Right, I have a good question. What's your favorite, <laughs> like what's your top three products that both of you have to have in your kit? Love. So that's a great that's question. That is a great question. So for me, I would say I love a palette with multiple options because to me, like I could have a palette, let's say with like the Bobbi Brown um, Skin Bible, is that what it's called? So it's pretty much a palette and I have multiple foundation shades and right. concealer shades. To me, that's an incredible product to carry in your kit as a makeup artist mm -hmm. because instead of carrying every individual shade, you have something where you have access to everything. Right. I do love the Tom Ford Contour and Highlight okay. Cream Palette. That's the product that I, I pretty much use on everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's my favorite cream contour. Third would be, and she really can't live without this, the Tom Ford. You love Tom Ford. Honeymoon Palette. She is loved. Yeah. I really, oh. oh. I was just about to be like, don't hold her like that. She falls out sometimes. <laughs> oh, does, does that happen before? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You didn't I'm do that. so sorry. <laughs> that was actually me. What do you mean? You did that? Yeah, originally. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm she so embarrassed. Out. Do you just like gently pick the eyeshadows back? <laughs> and put them back Pretty much cradle them. Don't worry, it's Jamie. Like, what That's are you not your do, fault. Though? Now you I'm sweating. Like, Number one, I already mentioned her. That does it all. I love that they Hair all have spray. female pronouns. They're she's. They're she's. They're definitely yeah. she's. It's such a game changer for your hair. So this is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I love that too. It is so good. Now don't she make the mistake. She literally can't, she can't live without it. This is not a dry shampoo. I had a friend who was using this as a dry shampoo. Number one, that was just money down the drain using this as a dry shampoo, oh my God. It just really adds some thickness and texture and actually a little bit of hold to your hair. I find just finishing off your hair with a little bit of paste gives it another layer of a different kind of texture. It could also help get away some flyaways. So this is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Cream Contour. So I love to start off with this dome brush here. <laughs> yes. You're a real beauty girl. Hey. Yes, from Morphe. This is the Morphe M505. Mm -hmm. And then this baby right here, the Real Techniques 200 is the best brush to buff out product. And the goal is you really just want your shadow to look like it's part of your skin. I think that's one of the most important Ooh, things. Ooh, I've never thought of it that way. Yeah. So I'm going to go into this Tom Ford palette that Jamie broke. She broke. So and so I'm going to use this pinky <laughs> shade over here. And I wet, I just wet dampen this brush. Sigma Medium Sweeper E54. I'm just going to... Press it onto Jamie's lid. And I'm gonna focus more towards the inner part of the eye and kind of blend it into the shadow that I was doing beforehand. So you put like a little sweep of something in the crease and now you're putting that, yeah. like more shimmery shade on the lid. Exactly. Okay, cool. Oh, would you say that it's it was worth it for you to go to beauty school? Okay. Um, um, good question. I do think it, I don't regret it because it is quite expensive, but I do find that a lot of really incredibly talented artists are self-taught. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have so much at our disposal today on the internet, mm -hmm. you know? So if you have that natural ability, that you are you have that natural talent for makeup, practice and practice and put yourself out there and work on different faces, different skin types, different skin colors. You'd be as good as someone that went to beauty school. Yeah, I agree. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Kaja. I don't know what this is called. And there are these pressed glitter shades. This is the shade Rosewater. I love those. I just oh, them they're so good. They're so pretty. I am obsessed. So I'm gonna go with the middle shade. So I'm gonna take it on my trusty ring finger over here, and I'm just gonna press it in the center of the lid. And it's really just gonna add like a beautiful pop. I'm really all about layering products and different textures. So now I'm just taking um, a brown shade and I'm running that along Jamie's lash line just to, to darken that area. Bring some depth to the, to the lashes. Do you feel like Instagram makeup has really influenced the industry? Like, have yes. you seen a shift? I think it has. And I think in the fashion world, makeup's a lot lighter and it's not about like packing product on the skin. Mm -hmm. But I think that a lot of a lot of girls in the beauty world look up to like, let's say the Kardashians. And their makeup artists are incredible. I really appreciate their talent. I have to say like, 
they're so good at what they do because when you think about it they're being photographed at all times from every angle and their makeup's always flawless so That's they've true. appeared on video and such and they've even said this is not makeup for every day this is makeup for camera so mm -hmm. they're often doing makeup for camera not for everyday mm -hmm. wear i so think it's, it's a lot more intense what's your favorite because I'm sure people are gonna wanna know, like your favorite, favorite, favorite foundation. So I'm actually really loving this, um, the Gressa Serum Foundation right now. I really, I'm very passionate about um, natural products. I mean, I love, I really love all makeup. I don't think I could ever switch to just natural, but there's, this foundation just is so silky. Their coverage is incredible. Is that what we're using on my skin today? We're using it today. Okay, and so and that is really action. like, I, I absolutely love it. Um, I would say MAC Face and Body oh, is a cult classic. Beautiful. It's buildable. The finish is gorge. Now I'm gonna go into the skin. So she's using the foundation that she spoke about before. This is the Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. Yes. So I'm, I'm gonna be so mixing excited. shade one and shade three. This is all the keywords that I look for in a foundation. Minimalist. Right? Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation, non-toxic. Mm. Glamour. Can't wait. So we're just straightening like the little just baby the little hairs. baby hairs. So I'm going to clip her front pieces so she could get the rest of her makeup done. And then I will be doing the styling products afterwards. So I just want to show you guys. Ooh, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want it to fall on the floor. But this is kind of what the product looks like when it comes out of the dropper. So it's very like liquidy and serum like. Ooh, yes. I'm so excited. I. This is my absolute... Favorite brush. Favorite brush. Holy shit, I love it. It's the Morphe G1. I'm not a beauty blender girl. Mm. I really love like a dense brush. I like to start in the center of the skin and work my way outward. So I'm just buffing it into the skin. I, re I really, I don't like to be too harsh with anything I do with the skin. Like you really need to be careful. I'd be gentle. I really feel like the biggest difference between like Instagram, YouTube makeup and like pro makeup is that Everything is just so much more minimal and light-handed. Mm -hmm. mm, totally. Makeup, yeah. it really is less. It's more like if you look at runway shows, girls aren't contoured. You know what I yeah. mean? Sometimes they're barely wearing anything. And that's why I love Katie Jane Hughes. And I really feel like she sort of like adopts that, that type of technique where she does that less is more type of look, but she still does very like editorial and fun. Totally. Looks as well, it makes it wearable. Mm. Yeah. And it just shows that you can be a little bit more light-handed and still get like a really amazing Amazing result. Amazing result, yeah. So I have definitely taken too much product. Like this is gonna go to waste. Okay. A little bit goes along with this foundation. I'm really taking it into the hairline. It's very important. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes like this is a pretty good match for you. So I don't feel like I need to take it down the neck, but you usually want to match to your chest because your neck's gonna be a little bit more pale, but you're right. pretty even everywhere. Oh, thank you. So this has incredible coverage. Yeah, it really does. I'm, I'm shocked. I did not expect it would have that for, much, much coverage for that texture. It's like, just like a formula that I've never seen before. Oh. It, it, it's oh. just really, oh. really beautiful. I'm buying this in all the shades for myself. <laughs> um, but I think that's a really good point. Like yeah. feathering on the product, yeah. it's not gonna irritate your skin underneath, no. especially if you do have problematic skin, you don't mm -hmm. wanna be like irritating it further by no, no, no. You... going in rough with like different exactly. brushes. You need the gentlest touch and it's a lot mm. easier to blend if you're very light with it yeah and you kind of just work it in you don't just like stamp it stamp it and move on you really like you could see she keeps going over everything again and again this is a tip a trick that i like to do on clients to cancel out the darkness under your eyes so this is the mac pro conceal and correct palette and i'm going to take this pinky shade right here and that's going to correct the um, purple undertone of her under eyes so yours aren't so bad no. But what I do is I love to use this eyeshadow brush actually. I'm a huge fan of a brush like this. Dupe is this paintbrush from Oh a paintbrush. Yep. Yeah. Art supply store. Love this brush. So I'm gonna just take this on just the inner corner where your darkness is the most apparent. You know what's funny is like I feel like I've sort of lost so many of the techniques that I used to use when I when I did work as a makeup artist, when I would work on clients, I would I would do the same thing. Like I would always use natural haired br uh, brushes when yeah. doing concealer, and I would really like feather it on and make sure it was just buffed out so lightly. And like I've completely lost those techniques. Like I feel like I'm so much heavier. You, know, you get lazy with yourself. Yeah, and I feel like it's also a lazier way to do it. Honestly, like it takes a lot more time to to do this type of technique, but it mm -hmm. just looks so beautiful. So I also like to pat under the eyes and pat onto the skin rather than sweep it. And mm -hmm. that's really gonna help keep the coverage. Yeah, get the coverage, and you, and it's gonna help 
kind of like dispense the product better. I'm actually gonna take a little bit and just kind of run it here. Mm -hmm. Just to like clean up the eyeshadow? Yeah, a little bit, clean up the eyeshadow. It's gonna like blend it even further. So next I'm gonna um, contour. And I always like mm. to go in with a bit of a cream first. Mm -hmm. And this is the Tom Ford Shape and Illuminate Intensity One. So this I, it. <laughs> if you're really gonna splurge on any product, I would say that this is the one. Yeah. I'm really? Gonna take this dome yeah. brush here. I'm gonna See, dip it in. The thing with Tom Ford products for me is I feel like most of them are not worth it. This one is worth it. I, really? It's so, but this is the thing. It, it's very, very natural. Okay. So. If you're on a shoot like this, if you want it to be a little more of a pop, mm -hmm. it's good to use it as a base and then go over with powder products. But if you're really going for a natural shoot and it's very, very dewy skin, it just looks so beautiful and natural and sculpted. And the highlight in there literally just makes your skin look like wet and glossy and beautiful. Say no more, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so another contour trick that I like to do is I'll take it on a smaller brush and I'm gonna take it here and I'm just gonna kind of <gasps> lift. Oh my God, I've never done that before. It's fab. <laughs> Does that make me look like I have like it's the like most Bella amazing Hadid. eyeshadow? It's like Bella Hadid, man. Bella Hadid eyelid. Oh my action. God, you guys take notes right now. I've never done that. Yeah, I learned this from another makeup artist actually. Oh my God, that actually makes a big difference. Wait, let's see, You know. Snatch. Not so snatched. <laughs> Again, I want to reiterate how like light her touch is. And even I press, yeah. you know, like I really play around with like what I'm doing. You just take your time. I would have. You been, need to take your time. I would have done my makeup six times by the time. <laughs> <laughs> what made you guys want to start your oil company? But Alana was um, getting into a more healthy lifestyle where she was eating healthier, she was working out, she was switching to all natural, and I'm she. Not really hills contour. She just mixed light. all those together. Yeah, I just kind of go in, but I'm, it, Jamie's really this middle one, but I just kind of mix everything and then I, I really wipe off access on my skin. Um, but Alana was doing research into things that were good for your mind and your body and then she you stumbled know, upon yeah. essential oils. I was really trying all this natural skincare and I wasn't loving results that I was getting. And I was like, you know, why don't I just play around and start making my own products and formulated tons of different different oils and mix tons of different things together until I got a smell that I loved and saw results from from the ingredients that I was using. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just started by using it on set, you know, and using it on people it. and people loved it. So this is a, it's like a blush and highlight. I'm Don't hold go. it up. It's triggering me. So it's just like a really nice pinky blush. Wait, show it. Yes. And I don't know how to pronounce this. Pronounce Called the Shane and Illuminate Cheeks in Scintillate. Scintillate, people, scintillate. So I'm just taking the cream blush and I'm just patting it, taking it in the on the apple and blending it upwards. So then I'm gonna go over with a powder blush. She's using the NARS Unfiltered Cheek Palette. This pink one, you can see it's pretty well loved. So I'm always using a really light hand and another trick is to hold your brush a little further up. Mm. Sir John taught me that. Beyonce's makeup artist. Yes. But notice how she's layering the cream underneath the, the powder for longevity. Longevity and I'm really blending it. And if I feel like I need more, I'm layering the, the powder on the powder. Like right. I layered the crease and I blended and blended and blended. And that's really how you're gonna get your makeup to last. So the next thing I always do is I take my foundation brush. It still has a uh, product on it. And I really just like take it on the edges and I really just blend everything in. I do the same thing. Edges, your edges are the most important thing in makeup. You want, really want, want to make it to be sure seamless. Seamless, yes, Maddie. Yeah, I really see your dryness here. <gasps> Stop it! <laughs> She's I just like rude. I invited you to my house and you <laughs> you insult me. So the next I'm gonna, uh, product I'm going to use is the Ooh. Annabelle Enlighten Highlight Drops, and I, I really like to use it with the fluffy brush. I love that brush from Real Techniques. Yeah, and I just I'm gonna take that on top of her cheekbones and a little bit onto the temples. I can't wait to see how you're gonna do my brows. Yeah, I always do brows last. She is using such a small amount of product. It's not like she's like piling it on and it just gives like the most gorgeous, natural glow from within look, but in like the most natural, beautiful, angelic way. So then I like to go on top with the Dior Glow Face Palette. This is, I think my favorite highlight of the moment. And I'm gonna just top, go over top of the cream. 
So now I have to buy that Dior palette and I have to buy the Tom Ford palette. So I'm losing money on this video. Thank you so much. So then I'm gonna take those two shades again on a, like with this little dome brush and inner corner of the eye. Look up for me. Sometimes I like to just drag it underneath a little bit. So I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. And then I always like to use um, a light hand with brows. Feathering. Everything is feathering. It's feathering. They're Jamie feathering. actually has great brows and she really just needs to fill from the arch out like downward. That's typically what I do. I mean, so that's where I'm gonna start, I think. Lately, I've just been putting in like a, a, like a fiber brow gel and that's it. Yes, I saw that. That looks like a great product. It is, but I've also just been using the Glossy Boy Brow too. Nice, that, I also love that one. Yeah, I'm just the laziest with my brows. Mm. Well, you can be. I'm so pretty lazy with my brows too. Like they're filled today, but she, they don't, they're not filled. She's not usually them. filled. On a weekday, <laughs> she's really not filled. Listen, <laughs> on a weekday, it, she's it, bare. Something to note, and I think for everyday use, you really don't need to fill your brow in that intensely. But if I'm doing something in a photo shoot, a camera's gonna pick up if like one brow's darker than the other. Um, it just, it really, to have like your brows like filled in and as symmetrical as possible is gonna make the biggest difference. Right. Oh, when I get to the front of the brow, I just kind of like feather upwards. I don't like the front to look too filled to be honest. Me neither. Like a square. I'll take my concealer brush and I'll just kind of like soften that a little bit. Yeah. Oh my Put God. It all together. I feel like those brows are just, I mean, I should put more effort into my brows. <laughs> Benefit, oh, my 24 favorite. hour brow setter, me too. It's the best. Also, I love Actually, hairspraying the brows too, to be honest. Yeah, but like why this, go through all the effort when that's so good? This is literally like a stronghold <laughs> gel for your brows. It's it insane. Is. It's it, insane, I'm obsessed with it. It makes your brows look so fluffy and defined and like it defines every single hair in the brows, I love it. And you're using clear, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I love to use these Ardell's. These are the medium flares. Um, and this is just a really natural way to get more of like an intense, fuller lash look. You could really play around with the shape you wanna do with them. Mm -hmm. They're not the easiest to apply, but once you get it, you could do it really fast. Yeah, and I feel like for pros, it's way more common to use individuals than strip. I'm not a, yeah, I'm really not a strip girl. I love, I just love, and I find they're more comfortable. Oh, so much more comfortable. Yeah. They're just a pain in the ass to apply, but they, the the end effect, the end result is is beautiful because it's so natural and just like full looking. So she's gonna have to get real close to my eyeball for this and she's gonna be blocking the camera. Like there's just no way around it. So I'm gonna, we're gonna jump, we'll be right back. We're back. <laughs> uh, lashes have been applied, no mascara yet. Um, I'm good. So next I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever <laughs> HD Press Powder. Um, I'm gonna really lightly set. Jamie is on the drier side in her tea, so she doesn't need much powder. So I'm gonna start by lining the lips. You always wanna kind of like let your pinky finger rest against the chin. Lips are actually the one, was one of the, I still struggle with them. Mm -hmm. They're the one of the hardest things to do. Yes, absolutely. So I'm gonna go in with the lip brush. This is the Morphe M170-8. And I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. I, I did purposely go for a bit of a darker um, lip liner. KKW Nude um, Lipstick in shade two. I've never used anything from KK. That's not true, I've used one eyeshadow palette, but I've never used any of the lip products. And then we're gonna go over the lip, the lip line. I like her lipsticks. They're really pigmented and creamy. Mm. I actually want to just lighten this lip up a little bit more. So I'm going to go into the Tarte uh, Pink Lemonade. I'm going to add that to the center and just kind of blend outward. So what I like to do if I feel like I need to um, clean the lips up a little bit, I'll go back into that um, concealer. MAC concealer quad. Take a little bit of product and that's just really going to help clean up the lip line. This is like a like every makeup artist does this. Another tip to get your lashes just like really like flared upwards is to lightly curl them with the... Oh my God, this always actually scares me though. Don't say that. No, just because I don't want to pull them out. I'm not going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> she takes it back. I... But another trick that I love is I'll take that blush on a the fluffy crease brush. The same blush you use? Yeah, and I'll run that in the crease and that just kind of like ties the whole look together. Write that down, guys. 
That's a really good tip. I've never done that before. Oh my god, I'm gonna do that all the time now. I love and it. And coin it as my own. It's my trick now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that actually it's very subtle, but I it's see super the difference. Subtle, but it's like the subtle things, you mm -hmm. know? The little things that really make the big difference in the end. And I'm back. <laughs> I've she been, never left. I've left. just been lying on the couch. Now I'm going to go in with my Orbe texturizing spray. So it might seem like I'm spraying a lot, but I'm very but I am. <laughs> I am. I'm very wasteful with my products in the sense that I'll spray it on the hair and then it'll be like half on the hair, half into the air. Like I'll just be wasting my product so that it's not a lot. I, I just find it, it helps me control the amount. So I'm going to start picking up the pieces and I'm going to kind of go directly in, hitting the hair and then a little bit at the root as well. I love a finger tease. So instead of kind of going in with a brush, I love to go in with my hands and kind of shape out the curls. Next, I'm going to go in with my paste. Oh my God, this, that's exactly how I like the front. Just like a, a little bit yes. curtainy. A little curtainy. I love a curtain moment. I think for this, I find it more modern. Really barely have any. Just, I scooped up a little bit here and you rub that all throughout your hands. I look great. And then I like, <laughs> I like, I like to scrunch it. Oh my god, I'm really upset that I'm gonna have to take this off Baby's for the next look. I am, I'm not She's even gonna like, lie. She's like, we're canceling this. Should I go on a date now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cancel the rest of the day. Take me out. Can't wait for the barrette. <laughs> yes. So I'm going, I'm such a barrette whore. I love it. It's I very bought, trendy right now. I bought so many and then I tried one on myself and I felt like it looked like a baby. <laughs> but I just recently got this one. Kim Kardashian just showed that in her Instagram stories. Yeah, it's by, um, I think, Kitch. It's, yeah, Kitsch, exactly. And it says boss, because Jamie's a boss and I'm a boss, we're all bosses. So before I put this in, I'm going to just do a very light dusting of Stronghold Hairspray. I'm just using this one from Ozzy, Instant Freeze. And this is very much where you'll see that spraying most of it into the distance. <laughs> so it's really on the side there. Like I'm really spraying it into the air for no reason. <laughs> and then slightly on your hair. And then I like to <laughs> brush it out a bit with my hand so it's not too, too sticky. It's the defining moment. You're crowning me with the boss jewel. Make it or break it. <gasps> yes! Okay, and then this is my fun. I love it with the brows. Yeah. I know, and I wanted to do it a middle part. <laughs> <The brows. laughs> She's like, it's all about the brows though. And then I take this organic oh God, I love it. toothbrush organic and I use toothbrush. this to clean up any of the little baby hairs. Like you could see some pieces here, some on top. So I'll just spray directly on it. I like this organic one because it's really, really soft. Literally just go on the tops. <laughs> Who is she? Who is she? Look at that boss clip. Look at those defined brows. <laughs> um, we need like a lot of selfies. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna take many, 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 many pictures. So that's it, guys. I am so obsessed with the way my makeup and hair is looking. I said to them before, I really feel like this is so similar to how I would do my, my makeup and hair, but it's just like a few notches more perfected, like more refined, and it just looks so beautiful. Like. This is something that I would wear like every single day, no problem. Thank you guys so much for coming on my channel. Anytime, we had a great time. We are going to be now taking all this off, which makes me want to weep inside. And we're going to be doing an editorial look, something a little bit more fun and colorful. I would love to know in Jamie's comments if you guys thought we did a good job at explaining what we were doing because we're very new to this YouTube world. Yes. And I do think it's important to perfect your skills no matter in what area. Yeah. So if there's things that could have been explained a little bit better for you guys, I would love to know. I'm gonna be having the back of my channel just because I think that these types of videos are really fun. So for any future like adjustments that you think we can make, let us know in the comments because this, this is also the first time that I'm having exactly. somebody like do my makeup on camera. So, you know, I'm try still trying to figure it out. I will also link their Instagrams and their website for their oils down below if you want to check them out and all the products that they also use. I will link them down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe <laughs> if you want to join ZFam and see more videos Join like Z this. Join ZFam. Join ZFam. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.